We love to see our dogs happy, but some expressions of excitement can be problematic for guardians. Jumping up on and biting us is a common example. Understanding the origins of this behaviour is key in knowing how to stop it. For this reason, Animal Wise explains why your dog jumps up and bites you, as well as practical methods of stopping them from doing so. There are several reasons that may explain why a dog jumps on people and bites them. It is essential to analyse the context of this behaviour. It is most likely a result of acquired behaviour. When we adopt a puppy, it is easy to let them do whatever they want as they are so cute and innocent. However, allowing them to jump and bite us can lead them to assimilating these behaviours as normal. What seems like harmless play as a puppy can become disruptive and even dangerous behaviour as an adult. It's crucial to set boundaries early so they learn how to interact appropriately. Poor socialisation As with humans, dogs need to learn how to socialise. If they are not socialised properly, they can become insecure and act inappropriately around other animals or people. This can lead to jumping and biting as a form of interaction. It is also common for dogs that have been poorly socialised to feel insecure, fearful or uncomfortable in the face of stimuli that don't actually pose them any threat. This can cause them to try to defend themselves by jumping and biting. It is never too late to socialise a dog and it's important for them all. However, we must bear in mind that adult dogs need us to be more patient and consistent. Overexcitement Sometimes our dogs get overexcited by stimuli such as toys or the leash since they associate them with pleasurable experiences such as a play session or going for a walk. This hyperactivity can cause them to jump on us or other people. This is especially true for dogs that do not have the opportunity to release their pent-up energy or that spend many hours alone. It is essential to teach them to manage their excitement to avoid accidents, but we also need to ensure we are providing the right levels of stimulation. Stress Stress in dogs is caused by an unsafe environment, lack of stimulation and many other factors. A stressed dog may display destructive behaviours including jumping and biting. If you suspect your dog is stressed, it is advisable to consult a veterinarian to assess their well-being. Calling our attention if a dog is jumping and biting, they may simply be seeking our attention. A well-socialised and well-adjusted dog will use gentler forms of communication, such as coming up to you and touching you with their paw or placing their nose on your lap. Lonely, bored or neglected dogs may resort to more intense behaviours. How to stop your dog from jumping and biting you? You will need to assess the cause of this behaviour, something which may require the help of a vet or ethologist. While their advice is paramount, you may be able to stop this behaviour by preventing premature separation. It is important for puppies to spend time with their mother and siblings to learn social behaviour. Early separation can cause behavioural problems and difficulties when interacting with others. If you are thinking of adopting another dog, we recommend that you allow the puppy to be with their mother until they are 2-3 to three months of age. Promoting good socialisation during the first few months, it is crucial your puppy meets other dogs and people. Although it is not recommended to take them outside before completing their vaccinations, you can introduce them to other animals that you know are healthy to allow them to start getting used to their presence. It is also advisable for them to interact with more people, be exposed to different sounds and explore new environments as long as they are safe. If your dog is still a puppy, check out the video we share in the card above in which we explain the socialisation process further. If your dog is an adult, socialisation is still important for a healthy and balanced life. Some dogs may require consultation with a canine educator or ethologist. Educating from the beginning From the moment your dog arrives home, teach them what behaviours are acceptable by rewarding them with treats, petting, playing or encouraging words. Working on canine obedience with basic commands such as sit can be very useful to stop unwanted behaviour and keep the dog calm. In the next info video we share, we explain how to teach a dog to sit. Reinforcing balanced behaviour Instead of punishing your dog for jumping, reward calm behaviours. If your dog behaves well, give them a reward they enjoy. Whether physical or verbal, violence will only make the dog feel fear and insecurity, greatly damaging the bond you share. Indicating inappropriate behaviours If your dog does something inappropriate, stop the activity immediately. Only reinforce the good behaviour with treats. 
where possible, redirect the behavior to a suitable alternative. For example, if your dog jumps up and bites you as part of play, stop the session and give them a chew toy instead. Ensure good physical and mental stimulation. Finally, make sure you provide your dog with plenty of physical exercise and mental stimulation. You can explore activities like canine agility training or taking part in sessions with a professional trainer. Remember that the key is patience and establishing healthy boundaries through positive reinforcement. This will help you achieve a more harmonious coexistence. Do you experience this problem with your dog? If so, what do you think might be the cause? Share your thoughts in the comments and we'll see you next time.